Welcome guys, welcome to this video. In this video we are going to see the error handling in PHP. So currently we um, are getting the data, we are filtering the HTML tags and uh, we have this form on the index.php and then I'm including the DB in this file and the header and uh, here in functions.php we are passing when the form gets submitted so it goes here and here we are dealing with the insertion in the database so we have the insert query here but what if when the user is not providing the correct details and uh, or uh, the form is empty or some that kind of scenarios so to do that what we do uh, is so I go here first of all and I'm going to change this email to text so if I put it email here in the input type email that means the HTML going to check if the input is input contains at the red sign or not but we don't want that we want to check it through PHP so for that we want to accept the uh, string or text whatever user puts here so once user clicks the submit button we are going to get here so what we do here is I'm going to say on the top if and then submit all right now for this we need to make sure that we have the uh, we need to change this button to uh, input type submit can put this to so uh, by using dollar underscore post we are we can get these uh, name parameters for input now we have the submit button with the name of submit so we are checking for that if uh, it is uh, collect only then we want to uh, do this so now what we're gonna do here is I'm going to say echo uh, submit collect all right I save this go to the browser all right now if I click submit uh, go to code editor we are doing it on the functions.php so I need to remove the command the header for a moment while to for checking so refresh here again and I click submit we see the submit clicked because it is now in functions.php and it is checking that you know, if the user is coming from this form after clicking this button. So we can do this now that once user is clicking the submit, then we include the DB, otherwise not because DB is the access to database and it is going to make our code a bit secure so we are not providing if someone gets access to the functions.php we are checking here that the user is coming from the form only otherwise we are not including this file now once we have this file we are going to do this we can uh, for example we have username here where we are doing a lot of uh, filtering so i'm going to put it here so uh, we want to do the filtering but first we need to check if the username is there or not so what we can do we can use a PHP function here so I say if username and then we check here now we want to check if the username is not empty then do this so we are going to do it here not so this is going to check okay if there is value present in the username then we are going to make this username uh, secure all right so in the out statement we can give an error so we can say here echo user name required now what I can do I'm gonna simply copy this and paste in here now we are going to check for the email all right so I'm checking here the email do this then again a if statement inside now this if statement is going to act if the email is there so we need to check if it is a valid email 
so if it is a valid email only then we are going to assign it to here so I'm gonna put it in here all right and here I'm gonna say else so it's going to check okay the email if not empty then check for if it is a valid format if it's valid then we are going to filter the email uh, for our SQL injection I'm going to put a new variable if it is not valid it's going to give the error if it is empty it's going to give the error now we have the password let's do that so I'm just gonna copy this if statement I'm going to paste here better now we are checking this time password so I'm gonna copy this and if not empty now for this we are going to simply uh, put in here so if it is not empty encrypt it and if it is empty all right so this is how it's going to be now and uh, yeah so we have three user inputs and we are checking all those three inputs straight away so here we can put here dollar uh, inserted and uh, we can say other statement then echo data else okay so we have the validation at place now so let's see how it works so we go to the bird I hit submit we get email is not valid we get undefined variable user uh, so we are getting this error we need to catch this one so let's see why we're getting this error so here it says undefined variable user email so what happens is we are uh, checking here and when we get the error for example we have an uh, email is not valid so this striked so we are not setting any email currently so this variable is not setting when we are giving this error so that's the reason it's giving this problem users uh, you will see that email is not there it's inserted the data but without email so what we need to do here is we need to stop the execution but if the error occurs so what we can do simply we can put here an exit and it's going to stop and it's not going to uh, do anything further now in the real world applications we will be using some other methods even we will be using javascript or jquery in the front end and also on the back end but for example for current use if we want uh, for currently we are just going to check that if the data is not right if data is not there do not proceed just stop the email password submit email is not valid and it's stopped it's not inserting anything now if I go here we have seven I refresh the page it stays till the seven it's not inserting anything now let's do this now what we do we go back refresh and hit submit so it says username is required so if user goes here refresh puts the username submit email e email is required okay message is not correct here so we need to remove the name from here now go back refresh now password is empty I'm gonna submit it it says password is required so each time it is checking it's uh, it's stopping just after that due to exit it's not proceeding here now we can even say that that uh, only do this once we have all the data so you can say if however already it is doing it but um, we can um, put it this way as well so we can say if empty password so I just want to put not uh, and and empty email so we're passing here so we're saying not D there is some value only then we are going to run this code so I put this code inside so this code uh, not gonna proceed so even if I remove the exit now uh, if 
the password is empty, it is not going to go any forward still. So if I remove this exit and comment this one here. Alright, so okay, I cut it by mistake, so I'm gonna copy this username and put it here. So I refresh the page now and we are going to simply hit this. It says username required, email required, password required. Uh, now let's go there in the code. Now we should have a break afterwards, so I'm gonna add the break so that it comes one after the other. So copy and paste, copy and paste in here as well. And save. Now let's see here. So you refresh, continue, username is required, email required, password required. So if I go back, what I do is provide the Roger and submit. Now we get two errors. So each time it is checking here and echoing out the errors and it is not proceeding this because those values are empty. So it's required all these three values. If the one of these values is not there, it's not going to insert the query but if the email is not valid this we are still not setting or stopping the code so we are not setting this variable so currently it will give error so for example if i go here and i say roger emit we get email is not valid and the user email is undefined so either we can put this in condition as well or we can put exit so that when email is not valid stop the program and uh, we need a valid email or we can put it inside this condition as well so that's up to you how you want to do it so what i can do currently i just stopping the this for now for this uh, current example now if i go to here and back refresh uh, it is not going to proceed any further so you get the idea like we can put the conditions even you can add uh, uh, more conditions yeah, uh, nested conditions and that's totally up to you how you want to treat the data and how you how secure you want your application to be so I uh, hope you like this video uh, we will see more complex and more PHP functions using uh, in the validations when we will be working in the application uh, but for this particular example I think this is enough you got the understanding I showed you two ways to validate so I hope you like it. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.